In Arena Breakout, there are three major ways to get money, to earn money, to farm money. Basically, you do an activity which boosts your balance and you're going to have more coin than you had before. I'm going to talk about these three strategies and I'm also going to talk about what not to do in the game because you're going to spend your coin, you're going to waste your stuff, you're going to give away all of your inventory. The first one is the easiest and comes with the least risk. Basically, you dress up into T3, eventually T4, you choose like a cheap gun, maybe Dum Dum SMG or any other cheap loadout. And then the idea is that you head into normal port or TV station raid mode or eventually any of the lockdown maps and you try to do a nasty kill, pick up their stuff, eventually find some T5, pick up the FAL or the M4 and then extract with a nice juicy 300,000, 400,000 ish. Covert ops in general also falls into this category, just FYI. The explanation why this works and why it's efficient is relatively easy to understand. So basically you are not risking any money if you're doing covert ops and just little money if you're doing like normal port or tactical ops in a cheap loadout, like 30K or even 40K or whatever. Basically you don't risk too much and you hope to get something that is pretty big, like 400,000 ish. For example, on TV station, if you enter the fight at the right time and you kill that guy, that last guy who is standing, then basically you can pick up everything and you're gonna have like the biggest bag, tons of weapons and all kind of stuff, and you're gonna extract 400,000, 500,000. And the good thing is that you don't need to be highly professional to do that kill because we know that in this game, even if you are the underdog, you can do that kill. So there is no way a T6 Chad is gonna escape death if you are shooting him from the side, shooting the legs or instantly doing a bunch of headshots. That player is gonna die and he's gonna lose everything. You can pick up everything and you're gonna be happy. The downside of this strategy is that you're not gonna be able to do that like every single time, obviously. But out of 10 raids, if you can extract two times or eventually three times, then you're gonna make a profit because the investment from your end for 10 raids is like 300,000 or 400,000. And if you extract like three times with 400K, that's 1.2 million. So you're gonna have a juicy profit. The second strategy that works in Arena Breakout is going after the saves. It could be either Northridge or Farm, eventually even TV station, but I would focus on the easier maps. And in this strategy, in this mindset, it doesn't matter too much whether you have a low end gear or like a high end gear. I would say it should be optimal adjusted to the map and the difficulty of that map. For example, if you watch my Northridge guide, for that map, I would recommend doing Lockdown, T4, semi-decent gun, 120-ish type of loadout. And if you manage to clear the hotel, even if you're not doing it every single time, but out of five raids, you clear it like three times and you have a chance opening the saves, then most likely you're gonna have a red item. And then on top, you're gonna have everything else. But the basic requirement for this strategy is that you need to have the keys, you need to have an understanding of the saves, you need to know the spawns, you need to know how to get to the saves, how to extract and so on. But if you keep doing that and you just simply focus on the saves and not really care about the fights, maybe eventually you even avoid the fights not to put yourself into danger, then you can also get rich. You see the difference, guys, between one and two? First one is PvP, second one, not so much. So you can be sneaky, but you need to know the map and you need to have some luck with the saves, but definitely it works because if you find one red item or two or three red items on the same day, you're definitely gonna be rich even if you invest 100K or eventually 150K into your loadout. And now guys, the third strategy that is proven and works is to go into the lobby, armory, TV station, lockdown maps, destroy everybody on the map and pick up their stuff and then on top, clear the saves. Sounds relatively easy, right? Well, yes, but it's not. This is why most of the arena breakout players are broke. This is why you lose your money, because you think that if you dress up into T5 
and you put your ATK FAL into action, then you're gonna be able to do that. To enter TV station and then wipe everybody. And no, it's not gonna work. You're gonna enter TV station, maybe you're gonna have one kill or eventually two kills and then you're gonna die and you're gonna lose all your stuff. This is how you waste your coin and this is how you waste your full inventory. This is why your inventory is not going upwards. This is actually a working strategy, but not for 90% of the players. In order to do that, you need to have either very, very good skills or you need an excellent team or even both because then you can go ahead and do it. And basically there's gonna be a very minor chance that you are getting killed in that lobby. There are players who have proven that it works. Look at Ferg or Sade, with Trashy or even alone. They enter a specific map and they basically kill everybody. But this is misleading. You are not going to be able to do that. Even if you enter the raid every single time with T5 and T6, it's not gonna save your ass. You're gonna still die. Maybe not that frequently, but you're gonna die and this is how you lose all your stuff. Also, the terminal players fall into that category and this is a working strategy. Like kill everybody and dominate, but it doesn't work for 90% of the players, as I said. And let's stop here for a moment because this is a bit contradictory. Because you think that if you somehow manage to get T5 and good weapons, then you're gonna have better chances to survive in the next raid. You dress up and then you enter TV station and then you lose it. And then you feel inside that, mm, I was unlucky, never mind. And then you're gonna dress up into T5 again in the hope that this time you're gonna clear the whole lobby, you're gonna shoot everybody. And then unfortunately you die again. And then it happens for the third time. And then you start thinking that the game is full with cheaters. And then you explain to yourself that it's not because of you, but we need to face it. You are doing the mistakes, not the other players. It's you. When you pick up the high end loadout, you're gonna over position yourself. You're gonna enter the raid and you're gonna feel that you are strong, but you are just a tiny bit stronger than the T4 player. It's not actually fair to say in the game that T5 player always wins the fights against T4 players. It is absolutely not true. Say it for example, in T4 with a 1x scope, with a semi-decent gun, would destroy you 10 times out of 10 attempts, even if you are wearing T5 or T6. Believe me, it's because he is highly professional in the game. It is absolutely not a surprise that he's having close to 70,000 subscribers on YouTube and it's not his personality. I mean, he's a cool guy, he's very supportive and very kind, but he's not entertaining the audience. I mean, he is with his gameplay, but not with his personality. He rarely speaks, for example, which is perfectly fine, but it shows that he's like highly professional in the game. You are not, and even for myself, I'm not highly professional. I'm happy if I can extract three times out of 10 times from TV station. So in my case, the search strategy doesn't necessarily work. I need to stick to the first and to the second and so should you as well. So the sad and the harsh reality is that we all want to belong to the third group, to be able to enter the game and clear the whole lobby. But guys, life isn't fair and neither arena breakout is. Anyways, I hope you're gonna be fine doing the first or the second strategy and then if you have enough coin, then always try the third one because this is how you can improve. Even if you are losing your stuff, you are always practicing and you are getting better and better. And maybe one day you're gonna be that guy with the flashlight on the FAL with the 1x scope destroying others in the TV station. Thank you for your attention. Happy gaming, happy farming and see you in the next one. Bye.